Excellent pass, excellent option swing from Tanya Huberly. Excellent timing on the move from Brunner. And there's Brunner hitting down the line away from the double up into the angle. Venue, you'll see a lot of that in Hamburg, Germany. You'll see a lot of that when we go to Roland Garros in Paris. So serve receive has been, a, a, it's always of critical importance, as is that block from Tanya Huber for Huber. That's a big reason why they are one of the best block defense teams in the world, one of the hardest teams. What a move that is from Brunner. And Brunner's going to put it away. Now, I say what a move because if we get a replay, bummer for Carroll. A very well executed angle block. Not going to get rewarded for it. Now, that's exactly why teams will serve Tony Cooperly. She Her physicality is going to allow her to bail herself out in those situations. It's just a, a very well executed play from Switzerland. And that's a huge block from Tanya Huberly. Excellent timing, excellent hammer. Just waits and waits and waits and then pops into the angle. Well done. And more trouble on the pass for Huberly. Big opportunity for Barbara. Not taken. Excellent swing from Nina Brunner. And that is going to be an ace serve. But if it's tactically the wrong time to do it, you'll get dug. So it was the right decision, just slightly missed. And Barb going right back to the cut shot this time from the left. Brunner is all over it. And Brunner with a nice fast slap down the seam to extend. Scary stuff. Scary statistics. And a huge move for Huberly. Make it block number three for big Tanya Huberly. They might not be on all the Instagram highlights all the time, but their defensive structure coupled with their per execute a perfect short shot still with so much topspin. Nina Brunner, just solid. Maybe taking it down to 85%, but even then 85% you can still miss. Back to Huberly, they go. And Huberly with a soft poke shot. Love to see a little off-speed mix-up. I've yet to see it. I've yet to see a ref come down and check, but I do love the fact that now we have at least the peace of mind to know that the ref came down to look at it. Oh, the SWAT block of Tanya Uberly, number four. Who's the most athletic, but the timing to be able to do it because you've got a slightly different timing. It's a different type of block than when you're trying to block the hard hit. And again, Uberly, excellent timing. So the arms are exposed, fast little play into the arms. Oh, I love it. Excellent serve, well handled from Uberly. Oh, what a shot that is. So nice when your cut shots can just be sort of a 60% slap down to the sand. 19-16 now is the lead for Switzerland. They have not dropped a single set in this tournament. Good dig from Bruno. The chase down's good. It's just going to be a free ball coming in for Brazil. And there's an excellent turn from Carol Salgado. Pressure of a semifinal, pressure of a blocker who has four blocks in the first set alone. And that'll bring us to our first set point. What a serve that is from Nina Brunner. Line to line ace to take the opening set 21-17. So that's your teaser. We'll get Damien's thoughts in a moment. For now, we'll get on our way to the second set. If you're just joining us, Brazil will be on the left side of your screen in the green tops, and on the right side of your screen, continuing to be dominant at the net, is Tanya Huberly. Inside a big stadium floats a lot more, but for Brazil, they train outdoors 365 days a year, so the conditions definitely suiting the Swiss. And the double up into the angle works out well for Brazil. That is a phenomenal dig from Brunner, and another dig from Brunner. And no one's touching that soft poke from Barbara Seixas, and here comes Brazil. The defensive strength of these two teams is 
very impressive. And almost with the one-handed stab date for Barbara, but too much heat on that swing. She contacted the ball first, but it must have been on top of the net, so no argument from Brazil. Excellent positioning from Brunner. And an excellent cut shot in transition. Such a smart defender, but also the timing. You can tell how much she's worked on the timing to make sure the opposition has no idea when she's moving. And Barbara just sneaking that one. A hit through the middle, just using all her range at the moment. What a touch that is from Brunner. Carroll now hitting 100% on options. Haven't quite adapted it to a 20-all you know, situation of the third set just quite yet, but we'll get to them <laughs> later. And who hit the antenna first? Was it Brunner or was it off the block of Carroll into the antenna? That to be as balanced to go and chase that high line to the left of screen, that set up that extraordinary rally. Cameras in the boxes during timeout. Scores 9-7. Apologies, had a 10-7. Because you can just see the different team dynamics from all over the world. Where Brazil, you're going to have some of the most animated timeouts out there. And then Switzerland, just cool and calm and collected. And there's Barbara. So important for her. So later in the set, now her shot game will be available to her. Another perfect pass from Brunner. And another perfect swing from Brunner. One of them to have the pressure of what it's like to be expected to medal. They ended up struggling in Guadalajara and there are no struggles right now. No holes as Nina Brunner gets another ace down the scene. We mentioned the importance of service pressure. By a few centimeters, Switzerland going after it. More service trouble and there is a good save from Carol Salgado, a big one. They got out of jail, but again, forcing the celebration, keeping the energy high. Anything can happen. Let's see how she goes after the serve. And Tanya and that, Nice speed down the line. Go ahead, Damien. At least get Switzerland moving on the pass. Now, while Nina Brunner doesn't make that dig, her balance. Anything else apart from that is dub. Another perfect pass in system play for Switzerland. What a dig that is from Barbara. And Tanya Huberly, the only contact at once. That's about a six contact on Huberly. What a crafty play that is from Barbara. There's a little shot of Paolo Nicolai and Sam Coltafava still sticking around to watch the remainder of this Elite 16. We'll see the Italian women on court after this one. Just slightly out of system from Switzerland. And there is Carol getting a huge block down the line on Tanya Hubler. And she's almost shanked it back to the middle of the court. And all of a sudden, Switzerland could have been 15 all. Another team serve producing some problems for Brazil. This is a big swing incoming for Nina Brunner. Set is a bit tight. No problem for Brunner. Muscles it through Carol with the joust win. Something wrong. <laughs> 0 for 2015. <laughs> Crafty shot from Barbara, the hesitation option. Nina Brunner has just been so smooth. Smooth is always the word I fall back on. Oh, what a serve that is from Brunner. Putting Carroll down is an excellent pass and a huge block move that just slips under the arms. This is a huge side out incoming for Switzerland. I like the short serve. And then just too fast down the line goes Tanya Huberle. As we have match point number one for Tanya Huberle and Nina Brunner. And Carol, that is a rip down the line. No match point yet. I wouldn't bet against Barbara and Carol. Match point number two incoming. Another insistent play for Switzerland. And Tanya Huberly down the seam. She goes, and Switzerland is back into the finals. Their first final since the Doha Elite 16 of 2023.